to authorize a domain transfer, you will need an EPP code. And in this video, I will show you how you can find the EPP code within the SiteGround dashboard and how you can request it so that you can transfer your domain to another hosting company, for example. So the way to go is to first log in into your SiteGround account, as I have done over here. Then the next thing you need to do is go to services over here in the menu, click on it. Then you can see two tabs available over here. By default, the hosting tab is selected. And there you can see the different hosting plans that you have. And if you go to the domains option, click on it, then you can see after the page has been loaded, you can see all the different domains that you have. So for example, you just go to a certain domain. And for this one, I will use the one for the website learning lab. You just click on manage. And now the next thing you need to do is you have to click on this icon over here with the three dots, click on it. And there you can see the option get EPP code. So if you click on it, so now this message is being displayed and it says, unless you have decided to move your domain away from SiteGround, we advise you not to pay any renewal fees via checks or provide your EPP code to anyone and some more information. But if everything is all right and you have to make, and you are sure that you want to transfer the domain to another hosting company, for example, then you click on send code. And after that, you will receive the EPP code and then you can use it to transfer the domain. So that's basically it. So to explain it one more time, a quick summary is you have to go to the service option in the menu, then go to the domain step, and then you can select the domain that you want to request the EPP code for. Click on the domain and then you will see this screen, manage my domain for the domain that you have selected. Click on the icon with three dots and then you click on get EPP code to request the code. So this was a quick short tutorial, but I hope you found it helpful. So thank you for watching. Make sure to like the video. I would appreciate it. Also subscribe to the channel if you find this content interesting and also hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date on new videos that I will be uploading. And I also would like to know in what kind of topics you are interested in so that I can make videos about it. So if you have anything on your mind or that you're struggling with, make sure to let me know and I will try my best to help you out. So with that being said, thank you for watching. I hope you have a nice day and I will see you back again in the next video.